everybody, I haven't done a video in absolutely ages and I'm really really sorry about that. I've just been really snowed under with stuff and I've been trying to concentrate on blogging every day and I went on holiday um, and yeah, so I've just been really busy and I've also been struggling a little bit for inspiration, I'm not really sure what I should film and stuff like that so I apologise for that but I'm going to really really try and concentrate on getting lots of videos out to you because I really enjoy making them. Yes, my hair is pink. I decided on a whim on Friday night, I thought I really want to dye my hair pink. It's something that I've always wanted to do. And the new Bleach London dyes for doing it home have just been released and I ordered one. Yeah, I really, really love the colour. I think it's gorgeous, but I do probably think that I prefer myself blonde. Today I thought I would film a video on if all my makeup disappeared. It's a tag that I've seen going around uh, quite a lot and I thought I'd get in on it basically. When I went on holiday I had a little bit of a oh my god what if I lose my luggage kind of moment and it did make me think a little bit about this tag and what I would do if all my makeup disappeared. I think the first thing I'd do is start crying hysterically. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm a bit of a hoarder and I really like my possessions and I really really love having my makeup and the fact that it would just all go would like break my heart as lame and ridiculous as that sounds um, and then I kind of thought you know I think I'd sort of sit down and think right which items do I need to go out and buy no matter what and so I thought I would cover that in this tag basically I'm gonna list 10 items that I would go out and buy straight away if all my makeup vanished. So yeah, I'm just going to get straight into it because I've been rambling on for a little bit too long now and you want to see what products I would go out and buy straight away. First product has got to be double wear. Excuse my nails by the way, they're really really chipped. Um, but I would have to go out and I would have to repurchase my beloved Estee Lauder double wear foundation. The shade I wear is Desert Beige. Um, and it's kind of perfect for when I've got a little bit of tan on. I swear by Double Wear, it's the best foundation I've ever used. I've tried a lot of different foundations and I can honestly say this one's the best. If I lost all my makeup, I'd go out and get this straight away because I cannot be without my full coverage foundation and this is amazing and very, very full coverage. It's perfect. I've been using it for years and you know, I've gone from it to other foundations and I always go back to it. It is always the one that I'm going to love forever. And if they ever stop making it, which they, which they won't because it, they know they're onto such a good thing here, I think I would cry a lot. The next thing that I would go out and get straight away is a primer. And I think a lot of people aren't that fussed on primer, but... I swear by primer, I can't be without primer. I need to prime my face in order for my makeup to stay on. And this primer, which is Benefits Professional, is the bestest primer ever. It's a little bit expensive. I think it's like £20 or £18 or something like that. But I repurchase it every time because I just don't think you can beat it. It's a brilliant primer. I am the kind of person, and I have actually done this before, that if I forget to put my primer on, <laughs> I will remove my whole face of makeup um, and I will reapply it because I know if I'm going on night out or something and I haven't primed my skin, it's just not going to be up to scratch. So I would get this in a heartbeat. Concealers, I was kind of thinking about and I was thinking, well, would I go for Benefits Fake Up or would I, you know, would I just buy a cheapy one and... I came to the conclusion that if I was to lose all my makeup, the one that I would go out and get is actually one I've run out of. It's the Kick-Ass Concealer by Soap & Glory. You get two shades and you get a little powder at the top as well. And I think it comes in at about £10. I'm not exactly sure on the price thinking on it, but I think it comes in around that. And there's always deals going on with sort of three for two and things. This is definitely something that I would go out and get because it's really really good and I love the fact that it has the powder in there because it's really creamy concealer so you can set your concealer really really well with the nice um, translucent powder that it comes with. I decided if I was to repurchase eyeshadows I'd have to go for palettes because 
I cannot survive on a couple of eyeshadows. I need to have a little bit of a selection. Um, and I decided on the NARS Ride Me Up To The Moon palette. This is so beautiful. I've reviewed it on my blog and I absolutely love it. This is what it looks like. Do, do, do. Um, it's got some really, really pretty sort of neutral colours in there as well as some dark ones for making a smoky eye, which I think would make it perfect for having around to just, if I was maybe, you know, if I had lost all my makeup but I was going out that night, I'd still be able to, you know, whack on a little bit of a smoky eye and it would look nice. Another palette that I'd have to go out and get would be, of course, the infamous Naked Palette. Yes. I don't know whether I'd get this one, which is the original one, or whether I'd get the newer one, because I haven't really seen the new one up close, so I don't really know what it's like. But I found a lot of the colours in this one are a little bit too cool for me. Not as in, they're really, really cool, but <laughs> as in, oh yeah, it was so cool. No, I mean, they're, um, they're just, I quite like warm colours, and I find the ones in here are a little bit, sort of, I don't know, they just seem a bit cool in my opinion. This is my really scabby, well-loved Naked palette. I'd go out and get another one of these um, because I think Urban Decay eyeshadows are the best. I actually think they rival Max. I think they're so buttery soft and they blend so beautifully. I don't, I don't really think you can beat them. So I'd go out and get this. I've gone through five things. So I'm halfway through. Next up is a blusher that I absolutely love. I wear this every single day and even if I buy different blushes, this is the one that I always tend to reach for. I'm not one to be very adventurous with my makeup, if that makes sense. I do like to try out different looks and stuff, but I find that I just end up wearing the same thing every day, which is really boring and I should probably sort of branch out and start thinking I need to use that blush or I need to use that bronzer and things like that because you do just end up using the same things, yet I have a drawer full of different things so I should probably think about that. But I would definitely go out and buy Sleek's Blush in Rose Gold. This blush is beautiful, it's a gorgeous pinky, corally colour with gold bits in it and it's shimmery and beautiful. This is meant to be a dupe for Nars Orgasm which I've never used because I just think I may as well just buy this one if everybody says that it's the same. It comes in at like five pounds or something so it's really really cheap and a little one of these lasts me ages. Because I cannot be without my eyelashes um, I've included some false eyelashes in this um, video. I don't really know if you class false eyelashes as makeup but I do so they're going in the video. Um, I would go out and I would go to Primark and I'd actually probably buy like 10 pairs of these but I'd go and get myself some of the false lashes that they do. Um, these are actually the full look ones so these are like really really vol 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 voluminous vol 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 voluminous 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 they're really thick and big. Um, <laughs> they're really... But I actually prefer the just the little sultry lashes that they do. But I just thought I'd include these ones because I haven't got any of the others on me at the moment. Um, and I wouldn't have to worry about getting mascara. I could just use these with the glue that they come with, I suppose. Um, and I'd be alright. So yeah, I'd go out and get these. I've only got three things left to tell you about and two of them are lipsticks and one is a nail polish. I wasn't sure whether nail polishes were allowed for this even though they are obviously makeup because I've not watched that many of these videos and I don't know if people include nail polish but I always have my nails painted so I class if all my makeup disappears as nail polishes everything basically and I would immediately go out and repurchase Essie Mint Candy Apple which is this shade because it is beautiful. I think it's perfect for summer and winter to be honest because I just love pastel nails, pastel colours as you can probably tell. I think this is beautiful and it goes on so nice that I would have to get it. So yeah, I decided on Essie as my nail polish brand of choice. Finally, lipsticks. I can't be without my lipstick. I 
could not live with bare lips it would just be really really depressing so I had to pick two lipsticks that I'd go out and buy straight away one of them is by MAC and it is please me and I've only got a teeny tiny 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 bit of this left so I'm probably gonna have to go out and buy it soon anyway but it's a really really gorgeous sort of neutral pinky nude colour that I wear generally most days if I'm just looking for an easy lipstick to wear this is the one that I choose. Where I'm kind of slouching in this video I'm sorry if I look like a little like uh, feminine kind of scary woman I don't mean to I'm just I'm not slouching that much but I'm trying to stay on the screen so yeah sorry about that. And finally the next lipstick and the last thing on my list is by Lime Crime which is like my current favourite lipstick brand. I only have this one lipstick from Lime Crime but it is so so amazing. I've been blown away actually by how good this lipstick is. I was kind of getting it purely for the fact that there are unicorns or a unicorn on the packaging and it's like holographic um, and I wasn't really thinking about the quality of the lipstick or anything like that. I just wanted it. Um, but actually, sorry this looks really scabby, um, this lipstick is so beautiful. It's Babette, which I think is new, um, newish, um, and it's a nudie colour. Unfortunately, this one is kind of broken a little bit because I took it on holiday with me and it melted slightly in the heat. So that's why it looks so horrid and gross. But yeah, it's really, really beautiful and it is so moisturising and long lasting and it's the beautiful a beautiful 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 colour and I've had loads of compliments on this colour so I 100% recommend if you're looking for like a really sort of I don't know how to describe it like a baby doll nude colour I would say go out and get Babette I'd be happy with those two lipsticks to alternate between the two for a little while before I could afford to go out and get some more lipsticks that is everything that I would go out and get, well you know, in the 10 things, I'd probably go out and get lots more. But in the 10 things that I am assigned or whatever, thanks to the tag, they're the 10 things I would go out and get straight away. Thank you so much for watching my video and I really appreciate it. And, I and let me know if you like the hair, give me a like if you like the hair, um, that would be really nice. And yeah, I think that is it all I need to say for now. I will hopefully have some more videos up very very soon and let me know if there are any things you would particularly like to see on this channel. I'm gonna stop rambling, I'm gonna let you get on with your lives. Thank you very very much for watching, bye!